I wanted these individuals in the legislature to see what Southwest Mississippi has to offer. You have to forgive State Senator Albert Butler if he's a little biased. The Port Gibson native is excited showing off the possibilities of what his district can become. So with the help of Mississippi Farm Bureau and Alcorn State University, this group of state lawmakers took a rare in-session trip to Claiborne and Jefferson counties. We look at all these things and we just want individuals to have a bird's eye view of what we can offer the state of Mississippi, not only in industrial development, but in the process of appreciating the culture, the history of Southwest Mississippi. The first stop, the chairman and vice chairman from the state house and Senate agriculture committees, along with 20 state lawmakers, heard from local farmers and area residents about the immediate needs that would go a long way to opening the southwest corner of the state for business. It's frustrating, you know, our roads need improvement, potholes, tearing up the equipment and vehicles and stuff, is, it's not too good. I appreciate them taking the time to come down here and see our kind of unique problems, some of the problems we, we have to face. I just really appreciate them coming down and, and giving them an insight. For farmers, it's the roads, but for tourist stops like the Grand Gulf Military Park, the lack of broadband service keeps visitors from extending their stay. But this area is more than tourism. With Grand Gulf Nuclear Station and Alcorn State University, the area promises industry, education, and research in a potential package for economic growth. When you come on the campus, it just opens up. The educational curriculum that our students have the opportunity to be engaged in, but the innovation that's taking place, the economic development that we, along with the community, can help to drive is all what it requires in order to make this great state, to revitalize this region and to move the citizens of the state of Mississippi forward. Lawmakers here and see new developments at Alcorn, including a shiitake mushroom growing facility, as well as animal science research ongoing on the Lorman campus. In all, for Alcorn State President Dr. Felicia Nave, the tour is a big win. For them to be able to come on campus, to tour the campus, to see, to talk to our faculty and staff, it lands a different type of impression and just reinforces the message that I'm able to bring when I go to the Capitol. They get to see firsthand all of the pride that I try to exude in my conversations with them. And for Senator Butler, he's just excited for the future. Putting those things in the pot and stirring them up, they create economics. Right now we have students, our children, our adults that are moving from this area into other areas that are more productive. And what we want to do, we want to encourage productivity in this area.